Hello everyone and welcome back. I feel like it's been such a long time since I sat down and filmed like a, a more official legit review for you guys so I have something really special and it's something I was like mind blown when I first saw it so I'm just gonna bring it out and hopefully I can fit the whole box in the frame but it is this giant box it is the little twin stars and wet and wild collaboration so just a story and how i stumbled upon this collection so my friend actually sent it through me on instagram you know through a trend mid post and I, I was like instantly impressed by how like cute and aesthetic it looked and i just knew i had to like instantly own it so it officially released on the website on the weekend of the 16th and 17th of october and i decided to order mine on ulta 20 percent off on the 19th which is a tuesday wednesday i forgot and then it was pretty weird my first ulta shopping experience because my order actually took four days to process even though ulta says it usually takes one to two days to process and then i didn't receive mine until saturday i think and my my friend actually bought it after me and she received hers first so is that normal for ulta like please let me know in the comments below but anyways <laughs> that was a really long story huh I also forgot about the struggle of me trying to talk myself out of not buying this collection. So like at first I saw it and I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. But I don't need all that makeup in my collection. So I was just like, okay, I can just add these to a cart separately because they do sell each item separately. And then, but then I just realized like the, the more products I kept adding individually, like it was pretty much adding up to almost the same cost as the collection itself so i was just like ah screw it i'll get the whole collection and that's just how capitalism gets you you know <laughs> not to sound like a broken record or anything but i just want to give major props to the amount of effort and work and design that wet and wild put into this collaboration don't get me wrong here but i'm usually used to seeing really cute cl collections from from brands in asia so and I always be like so jealous, like, oh, I can't believe I like live all the way here in America. I can't get my hands on those. And I usually had to like spend a lot of money just to get those really cute collections, as you can see in my um, previous videos. <laughs> usually some collaborations I've seen with Sanrio, they literally just like copy and paste the same image all over and then they call it a day and sell it. But this is just like next level. <laughs> I, I'm just so amazed by it, guys, you know. I was just really so happy for once that I live in the United States and then I could get easily get my hands on this collection because it's like Wet n Wild and it was really 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 cute. So I'd like to give major props to Wet n Wild this time for creating such an amazing and cute collection for people like me who love cute makeup and live in the United States. I'm just so excited to show you guys what I really think about this collection and then you guys will see why I just can't stop raving about the cute packaging. So here's the whole box set of the Little Twins S collection and i was really happy and then i looked over here at the eyeshadow palette and um i think there's something wrong with this pen <laughs> uh i was just like laughing when i first saw it currently i don't have any foundation on my face which is why but i do have concealer which is why i have like this weird ring around my eyes but that's because i was waiting to try out these little cute sponges here's a close-up with the makeup sponges and they both come in its respective characters so pink is lala and then this blue one is Kiki. As you can see, this one has been wet with a sponge. And this one is like how it originally came in. So the size difference is really cute, huh? And for today's demo, I'm not going to be touching this side at all. Like, I don't care. Like, I am not going to ruin this design. It is just too cute. The sponges also came with this silicone holder. It's shaped in the cloud, as you guys can see. And it has really cute engravings. So let's get to trying out this sponge for the first time. Uh, oh, there's a glitter. So I'm going to be using this Misha Perfect Blanc BB Cream over my face. And it's best applied with a sponge. So Just a few pumps. You would not believe it. I was interrupted by my brother shaving in the back room next door. So I kicked him out. I got my foundation here. I'm just going to just spread it on my right side of the face like this. And using the back side, not this, not this flat side they obviously want you to use to apply. I'm gonna use this instead because I don't wanna ruin this. I don't wanna ruin the face, remember? <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this and see how it goes. Oh. 
Well, yeah. So here's how it looks. Uh, yeah, it's not absorbing that much product. So here's the right side of my face, blended out with this sponge. And what do you guys think? Off camera, I use a sponge to apply foundation on the left side of my face. And overall, it's, yeah, it's just it's a good sponge. It doesn't absorb too much product, I think, and it's really bouncy. But I'm not really a sponge expert since this is only like my second time using it for foundation. But I think it's doing its job. <laughs> so now that my face finally has foundation on, I can show you guys the next product, which is this. The Glow Face Mist, and it's said to be a hydrating spray that you can use as a priming spray or as a setting mist after you finish your makeup. So the instructions on this bottle is that you're supposed to shake it if you want like the... I don't know, what do you call these? So right here at the bottom of this spray is the sparkly stuff that's supposed to give you that sparkly finish when you spray it on your face. But what I like about this is that because it sinks in the bottom, that if you don't want that sparkly finish you can always just spray it as a loan and you can just get like the liquid part on your face but actually when I tried it out myself like here I'm gonna shake it I'm just gonna shake it if you guys shake it real good you can already see like the sparkly stuff swirling around the bottle it's really subtle the sparkly finish this glow mist gives you so I can't really tell much of a difference on my face like without the sparkles or with the sparkles but in this shot I'm showing you guys here with my hand you can see the obvious sparkles on camera also, I really like the nozzle they use for this. It's just like a really fine mist. It's so fine that sometimes I just don't know if I actually have any on my face or not. So I tend to overspray sometimes and it can leave my skin kind of tacky. So don't spray too much of this, guys. I'm just going to show it right here on camera for you guys. Pray I don't mess up. Oh my god, the first spray I like, I literally inhaled it. <laughs> so I felt it in my nose. I'm so stupid. So I just finished spraying this on my face off camera 20 times because I just wanted to prove you guys that there isn't much of a sparkly finish. But can you guys see? Like I'm glowing. Do I look glowing? <laughs> and dewy? I try not to overdo it because I didn't want to end up like a tacky mess. But let me just tell you like the scent on this. Yeah, there's like a, a slight fragrance because each product of this collection does have a fragrance. And this one, it's, it's really good. It's, I'm just addicted to it. <laughs> Like every time I spray it, it's just addicting and I just like want more on my face. <laughs> Here's a close-up for you guys. Like as you can see, the the sparkle particles are really subtle. Like I can't even see any like reflection of them. So that's why earlier I said that I can't really tell much of a difference of the finish when I use this bottle unshaken or shaken. I also don't have much to say about how well the spray can make my makeup last longer just because I haven't used it enough for that purpose. I just really like the hydrating finish it gives off and yeah, it definitely is like a refreshing hydrating spray. The next item in this collection I'm going to show you guys is this, which is like the a cup or like brush holder. You can use it for whatever you want, but it's mainly for like holding your brushes as a makeup lover, you know. So here's the front really cute just a super cute cup and i love this like design on the this this shape on the front it's not you know what do you call it? the scalloped edges and i just love like the touch of the scalloped edges on the top it makes it more like girly and cute and also with this brush cup you can hold these two brushes it came with here are the two brushes that this collection also came in and the inside it has like that waterfall effect which is a nice touch really cute and also like really just really cute designs on the brush too and as you can see i've i've used these already to test them out and I, yeah i think they're fine for what they are this is like like an eyeshadow brush to put on eyeshadow and this is like a face brush so i used it for blush and i think it's okay um it's actually not like densely packed it's pretty loose at the end so I prefer like another brush I have that is more densely packed but it's a cute brush like pink and blue the next item in this collection is probably the one I've used the least and that is this gel eyeliner pen set and don't get me wrong like they're really cute and I think the formula is great but it's just that I usually don't use gel eyeliner pens especially like colorful ones overall they're good gel eyeliner pens 
And these swatches, you can see they come in two different formulas. So the blue and yellow one is this shimmer shade, and the white and pink one is in the matte shade. Just like the previous Sanrio collection, this also came with a cute plastic makeup bag you can use to store whatever you want in there. And sorry, it wasn't even facing. So <laughs> here it is. It's really cute. It has like the wet and wild, has little twin stars name on it. And also comes with these loose stars on the outside. Just like a little nice touch. Now one of the highlight of this collection is probably these, which is the lip mousses and lip glosses. So each lip mousse and lip gloss comes in the two shades, which is, you know, for the twins, Kiki and Lala. So about these lip mousses, I do like the finishes of them and it doesn't dry me out at all because it's said to be like a velvety mousse texture. But it's just the one thing, and this applies to the lip gloss too, is that they both have that taste, you know, the scent. Because I did say earlier that each product has a scent. And so like some of the products, the, the fragrance or scent is pretty overbearing and like the lip mousse, the lip products are one of them. I don't really want to use these products that much because I can just taste it. And it tastes just really artificial, so be careful when you guys apply it because it, it tastes pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it just it's just like the taste is always there on your lips once you apply it on, which I'm not really a big fan of. Time to show you guys how each of the lip products look like on my lips. I'm gonna start off with the Kiki Lip Mousse, and, and this shade is called On Candy Cloud 9. And it's like a muted berry mauve shade, so you can see it doesn't really show off that much on my lips. Next we have the Lala Lip Mousse and the shade is called Lost in the Cloud and it's a pretty bright magenta. Here are the lip glosses of the collection and they both have like a really sparkly finish. Now for the lip glosses, I'm using the Kiki Lip Gloss and that shade is called My Lucky Star. And I'm pairing that up with the Kiki Lip Mousse from earlier. And its sparkles have a blue frosty finish. And lastly, this is the Lala Lip Gloss in the shade Starstruck. And I'm using this one over the Lala Lip Mousse. This one has a more subtle sheer finish compared to the Kiki one because the sparkles are pink. I usually don't wear lip glosses that much, so this is one of like one of my very few lip glosses. I also haven't really worn these enough to see how long they last on my lips when I'm eating or drinking. Overall, I think they're good lip products. It's just that taste and smell, you know. <laughs> Another highlight of this collection is the two blush trios that come in the Lala and Kiki shade. So you can see the packaging on both is like really cute. It has its own respective character. So like I said before, even this blush trio has that scent that comes with this collection, that really sweet bubblegum scent. And here is comes in like in a matte, a matte shade. The middle is a highlight, and then over here is the a face glitter. But both of these blushes and highlight shades on on the trios are really good. This is how the blush trio looks swatched on my arm and they go really smoothly, especially the blush and the highlighter. I have some complication whenever I use the face glitter so it's best to like just dab that on. Here's the Kiki version and this is the Lala version. And just in case you're wondering, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two blush trio sets using the brush it came with. So I'm gonna use this cool tone shade blush on my right side. There is significant fallout whenever like you pat your brush into this, so be careful about that. Like, it's kind of messy. One thing I do like about the blush is that it's pigmented. I'm pretty dumb for applying blush over my face that already has setting spray, but I don't plan this ahead, you know? <laughs> so just with this... Now these are pigmented, so I don't want to like apply too much at first, so just gradually build it up okay so that's like the first oh, can you guys see it <laughs> oh probably not okay I, I might just like apply a lot more blush than usual just to show you guys the color on camera so right now I apply blush on both sides of my face from two different blush trios and so here's this side and then here is the blush on my left side of my face. So do you guys see a difference? It's not that it's not that much of a difference, I would say. Like I think on camera, this is obviously like cool tone. And this is a warm tone, but I think in person you might not see that difference at all. It's really subtle. Next I'm gonna be talking about the highlights of each trio. So obviously they have their pink and blue 
highlight shades respectively and i personal preference i prefer this blue one because it's something i don't own and it's also like a icy blue shade that i can put on like the higher points of my face for this highlighter it's too much of a blush shade so i think it belongs it's more for like on top of your blush i'm just gonna show you guys how the blue highlight looks on my face on camera hopefully it picks up Oh, that is so good. Like, it's really, it's not blinding, and it's, like, subtle, but it's also, like, has that blue finish, and I really love it. So I only do highlight on these three areas of my face, the, the cheekbones and the nose. So what do you guys think? Is it cool? Mm-hmm. I really like it. And with this pink highlight, I'm just gonna put it subtly over my blush, like, not too much. I, I personally think it's good for, like, uh, topping my blush if I really want like a a, a sparkly blush. I know if I really want like a a sparkly finish on my blush so, so right now I just showed you guys how the blush and highlighters look on my face and for the next part of this video which is probably what took me the longest to film I'm gonna also include how I use this face glitter in my eyeshadow looks but before I start talking about the big eyeshadow palette I also forgot that this was laying around and it is the lip mask and the lip scrub so like i said earlier about the lip mousse and lip gloss i did not like the taste of it at all on my lips so these are pretty much unopened because i i just think that it's obviously gonna have like the same taste so sorry if you wanted to know how these performed i just do not want to open them at all and maybe i'll give it away as a gift in the future to one of my friends now finally the moment i've been waiting for the product i really wanted to talk about the product that pretty much everyone fell in love with when they first saw this collection, I guess. <laughs> and it is this 15 pan eyeshadow. Oh my god. I cannot describe. This is so cute. Like even my friend, she doesn't even wear makeup. <laughs> and and she and she bought this because it's just so cute. The design and everything. So when I first saw this palette, I was a bit hesitant because I'm a really neutral pinks, browns kind of person. So I saw like these shades here, shades I normally would not ever use like in daily life. And this is probably the one product in the collection that people are buying individually. I actually did get to watch some reviews of people trying out the palette. From reviews from other people, I was surprised to find out like from a brand like Wet n Wild, which usually has good reviews on its eyeshadows, that this 15 pan palette didn't have like the best reviews. And then once I tried out the palette myself, I finally did understand what the people were saying. One thing I didn't know until I saw the first review on this palette is that these two shades up here and this magenta one is are considered face pigments and shouldn't be used on your eyes. I actually use them on my eyes, which you'll see later in this video. And I don't think that they stained my eyelids in any way. So I, but I think it's just like a, like a safe warning from Wet n Wild. Just my general thoughts and opinions of this palette. I do think that the pigmentation on some of these are not that good. So... You do need like a, a really good primer or base if you want those pastel shades to pop out. I'm not really the person to talk about pigmentation and stuff because I do not own any other pa pastel palettes. This is actually my first one. One thing I do think that the palette did really well is like it's mix of different eyeshadow finishes. So you got like your mattes here and then you got your shimmer shades over here and then these glitter shades are really good for topping. I tried them out and... There's like some, these look like matte shades, but they actually have like some tiny pearls in them. So it's like a matte with a, it's a matte with a pearl finish. And overall, it's just really good. Oh, and this shimmer shade here at two, I forgot. And I'm probably the favorite parts of my palette are these like, these peachy coral shades here. And these glitters on top. I would say in terms of performance, I think that this lilac shade is probably like the least pigmented. Doesn't, it barely shows off. But these loose glitters are pretty good, like they adhere very well on my eyelids. I haven't had any issues with them. They just, I probably like use these the most. I'm gonna show you guys some arm swatches of the palette. So here's the first row, here's the second row, and here's the third row. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on my eyes right now, I've used these shades to make a look. Now I'm not the most creative when it comes to doing eyeshadow looks. I literally do like the same 
style every time because that's just what I prefer. But in this next part of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did two different looks from this palette. The first one is like a Korean style natural daily look and the second one is a really colorful gradient sparkle. <laughs> I don't know how to- I still don't have a name for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's just play the footage. For my first look, I'm using a regular eyeshadow primer as my base to help give the eyeshadows more pigment since they are pretty light in color. As a base color on my upper lid, I'm applying this light pink matte shade with some pearls. And on my bottom lid, I'm going to apply this light tan matte shade with pearls. Using this peachy coral shade, I'm going to apply that only on the outer and inner parts of my upper eyelid. And also on the outer end of my lower lash line. Right in the middle, I'm applying this white gold shimmer shade and also applying it on my inner lash line. For some extra sparkle, I'm also applying the transparent base glitter and then I'll use this dark brown shade to shade the outer V of my eyelids for some depth. And here's the completed daily look. Nothing too crazy, right? For my base, I'm going to use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and I actually saw Robert Welsh use this product to make his eyeshadow colors pop on his lid. So I'm going to be trying that for the first time. So starting off with the first color, I'm going to use this chip to apply this light pink shimmer on my inner lid, on the top and bottom lid. Next, I'm using this magenta shade for my outer lid, and I'm being very careful with how much eyeshadow I pack on my brush because if I put on too much, I know I'm going to have a hard time blending it out later. With this bright aqua shimmer shade, I'm applying that right in the middle, and it's really bright when you first apply it. Before blending, I'm just going to apply this baby blue shade on the middle of my lower lid. So here's my sad attempt at trying to blend these three colors into a perfect gradient. It's not going so well since some of the middle shade loses its luster. So please forgive me, I usually don't do these kind of looks on my eyes. I, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Next with this peachy coral shade, I'm going to blend the harsh edges and also use this fluffy brush to hopefully blend it out even more. And here's the final blended look. Next, I'm going to waterline my eyes with the pink gel eyeliner pen, and I loved how easily it went on. With this brown liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to be drawing your tail to act as a guide for the next step, which is using the white gel eyeliner pen close to my upper lash line. I missed up at the end there, I have to redraw the line with the liquid eyeliner. For that super sparkly finish, I'm using this pink base glitter all over my lid, starting from the middle, and just because I want to add more sparkles, I'm going to add the clear one too. To finish off this eye look, I'm using this chip to apply the white gold shimmer to my inner corners only. Here, I'm just applying some concealer to brighten up my under eye circles and clean up the edges of my lower lid. And finally, for this look, I'm going to apply the chunky glitters from the Blush Trio using these tweezers and my fingertips. It's kind of hard to control where the shapes are sticking because here I misplaced the crescent moon so I needed to use a tweezer to place it where I wanted it to be. But here's the completed look. The addition of these iridescent chunky glitter makes a perfect Instagram look but it's not something I would use on a regular basis. You know, it's just too much work. So I would say that if you're interested in buying this palette to be like your go-to pastel eyeshadow palette, I would probably recommend not buying it for that reason. But if you really like cute packaging and if you like little twin stars or Sanrio, this is a really nice addition to your collection. So there you have it. That was my entire demo and review of the little twin stars and wet and wild collection. Overall, I really liked how this collection turned out in terms of packaging and product performance. Just the one downside is that the smell can be off-putting at times because there were times where I would like do a whole face of makeup using all these products and like the smell would really get to me and I would have like a tiny headache afterwards. If you are really sensitive to fragrance in your makeup products, I would really advise to stay away from this collection. I'm not sure how collaborations work when it comes to Wet n Wild, so I think that there will still be like no rush to buy it before this whole collection like gets discontinued or out of stock because I checked their website and they still have like their SpongeBob collaboration and that was like a pretty long time ago. I really do think that if you are a fan of cute makeup or like a huge fan of Sanrio, that you really need this in your collection. I think that this little twin size collection is probably one of the better Sanrio collaborations I've seen in a while. Because I really didn't like the look of the My Melly Chromey one. And I have seen the Sugar Pill little twin size collaboration and that one is just kind of not for me. So I really like that this one Wild one is more to my preference and taste when it comes to makeup. 
For those who are planning to buy this collection, it is still being priced on its website and Ulta as $74.99. So maybe around Black Friday or Christmas, the price will go down with any special sales. But I cannot <laughs> make any promises about that. But for a collection that's a mix of makeup and tools and accessories, I think it's a pretty good deal. Like it's decently priced at $74.99. This would be a perfect gift for a friend who really likes Sanrio or makeup. Or you can even think about splitting the whole collection among friends because there is definitely a lot in there. Putting into consideration the size of this collection and the amount of effort they put into designing each product, I think that $74.99 is a decent price for something like this. Of course, each item is pretty pricey compared to Wet n Wild standards, but that's just because it has the official Sanrio licensing behind it. This was also the first time I've actually tried Wet n Wild's other products in their range besides like the Photo Focus Foundation which I own. Trying out this collection, I had some pretty uh, high expectations just because I've heard good things from Wet n Wild on YouTube. Just in general, I think the formula of each product was pretty satisfying. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are better Wet n Wild eyeshadows out there. And I think that the blush and highlighter lives up to its standards. Thank you all for sticking to the end of this video. I hope that my review somehow managed to help you decide if you want to buy this collection for yourself or any other friends. I do have some upcoming videos I have planned because I, yeah, I did buy some new stuff. So uh, look forward to that in the future. Thank you for watching this review and don't forget to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!